Hello everyone. Welcome to our first Testimonial Tuesday. I wanted to share a recent event that happened with one of my dogs. Um, so I just want you to take this information though. If you're not comfortable with anything that I did, please do not do it with your dog. I do feel comfortable. I've been a veterinary technician for over 30 years. Um, so have a little bit more knowledge. Um, but I just wanted to show you how things can happen at your house. And you know, you try to keep your dog safe and sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. So I try to use everything natural around the uh, farm and the house and the dogs. Um, so I use these fly uh, trap attractants. Um, so they're all natural and you actually put this little pod that's in here, I don't know if you can see it, I'm not taken out because they stink, um, in a gallon jug and then it has a little top that you put on it and the flies fly in, the attractant attracts them into there and they can't get out and they die. Um, so I have these all over the property. I have them hanging in the chicken coops, around the goat yard, um, in the barn. Um, so the other day I was cleaning out my quail cages. They are in the barn and one of those uh, units is in there. And I had put it outside because they do smell um, the attractant, they have to attract the flies. Um, and this one uh, was full of dead flies. Um, so I had placed it outside the barn door while I cleaned inside. And I started smelling it um, more acutely. And I was like, why am I smelling that? It's outside. Uh, so I go outside and my lovely 14 year old who never gets in trouble had dumped it over and was eating it. I was horrified. Oh my God, that is a bunch of festering dead flies in this attractant, which is all natural, but still you don't want to eat it. Um, so I said, uh, you know, I thought to myself, what do I do? So I decided to have her vomit. So I gave her a couple tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide. Um, you never want to have a dog vomit if you think whatever is coming back up is going to harm them. Um, so say they had um, eaten a stick or a bone or whatnot and you don't know if it had jagged edges. You don't want them to vomit that back up because it can cut their esophagus or whatnot. Um, you don't want to have them vomit if it was something that can burn their esophagus coming back up. Um, so there are instances you do not want to have them vomit. Uh, in this instance, I felt pretty safe to have her vomit whatever, you know, she had taken down. Um, I did not think it was going to hurt her as far as making her um, sick to the point of emergency, but it was going to give her some gastrointestinal issues later on, if not induce vomiting later on as that sat in her stomach. So after we got everything out of her stomach, um, I have this uh, detox uh, product and it's basically a clay based. Um, I actually wanted to use charcoal, um, but I did not have any charcoal in the house. So I use this detoxifying and it's basically benzonite clay. Um, so I gave her a dose of that. That was just a couple teaspoons uh, to coat her stomach and absorb any lasting um, you know, toxins that might be sitting in her stomach. Um, and then I gave her a dose of uh, fulvic acid. So this is uh, basically black oxygen. Um, so this will help detox also and help, um, you know, the stomach um, just absorb anything else that was in there and help uh, nourish her gut. Because now I've stripped her gut because I've made her vomit. Then of course, we went to our oils. One of my favorites, Digest Zen. So I took some Digest Zen with some fractionated coconut oil, put it in my hand, rubbed it all over her belly. Um, and then I also gave her two, my normal dose would be one, but because of this acute situation, I gave her two Digest Zen um, gel caps. Um, so that was my treatment of this incident that my 
chilling head done. Um, she never vomited again. She never had diarrhea. Um, she never even burped again. Um, so we turned a situation that could have been pretty bad um, with a 14 year old dog because you never want them to tax their system in any way uh, to a situation that I was able to correct quickly in my own house with things that I had. Um, so this is chilling and chillin' says, oh, chillin' says I don't be on the camera, chillin'. She's gonna go lay down on her bed. Um, so chillin' says, I won't do that again, or better yet, mama will not allow that to happen again. So I'm looking forward to seeing all your videos today and hopefully everyone has a great Tuesday. Talk soon, bye.